What's up, YouTube? All right, so moonlighting, moonlighting, not like you know moonlighting, like the romantic moonlighting. This is about taking shots of the moon. I'm gonna actually show you the easiest possible way to get a shot of the moon. It works every time without fail. All you have to do is change your metering mode. That's all you need to do. Don't worry about going into manual and choosing this shutter speed for this aperture and this ISO and this and that and more things to get you confused and just make you lose your mind and then you just don't want to do anything. This is very, very simple. The moon is actually incredibly simple to actually take a shot of. Um, it's just a matter of knowing exactly what to do. All you need to do is put your camera in shutter priority mode, change the shutter so that your ISO is down at 100, take the shot. That's all there is to it. Boom! Just like that. So I'm going to show you exactly what those results are between average metering, center metering, and spot metering. Which, uh, spoiler alert, spot metering is what you want to use. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to give you an example using my Pentax K30. And then I will show you the results I got last night shooting the moon. The only thing I did was change the exposure modes. Let's go. I'm going to uh, use a light. I'm going to just put this in live view here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so all I'm really going to be doing is using this video light right here. I'm going to turn it on. Look at that. Super bright. Super bright. So, I'm going to basically aim, whoops, let's try to get some focus here, aim, fire. So, there you have what that actually looks like. It's insane. Like, super bright, completely, completely and utterly white, right? So, what we're going to do is change the exposure metering to center and we're going to take another shot and I am in shutter priority mode so let's go back to live view aim fire now let's compare so you'll notice in matrix metering or average metering the ISO went to 400 center weighted went to 640 and you can see the light is a bit brighter right now let's see what happens if we go straight into spot metering let's go into spot and you can already see what what just happened there look at that aim it right there boom look at that so that's all you really need to do is just change your metering mode you can see each individual LED now. And, uh, whoops, let's go in. So it shows F14, ISO 100, 150th of a second. That's all you really need to do. I know what you're thinking. There is no possible way that shooting the moon would be the same as shooting that little LED panel light. There's just no possible way. And just to give you some context, here's the light. This is a little thing. The moon is huge. There's no way this is going to be the same. But you know what? I'm going to show you that it absolutely is. And here we go. We're going to be doing this one in a larger view here. So you can see the difference between each one of these images. Now, this is the one that was done in average metering. Um, I was using shutter priority. I had this set to 1 200th of a second. I saw uh, the camera determined should be 4000 and I uh, had the aperture at 6.3. I was using the HD DA 55300 PLM lens. Um, and the reason why it chose 4000 is all this area that's completely and utterly jet black. Uh, so it's trying to average out the entire exposure all the way across, right? So you have this one bright dot 
which takes up hardly any of the actual space, and then you have all this black around it, so it's going to try to amplify to gain light in the dark black areas. Now, moving on to center weighted metering, you can see there's a little bit more around here, uh, you know, and there's a bit of a halo haze kind of thing here. This was in center metering, same lens, same everything. If you look at the time here, there's the date and there's the time, 118. Let's go back just to show you, I'm not making any of this up, 117, right? Same date. And so basically with center weighted, this is this becomes extreme. So the center weighted area pretty much just measures along this section here. So there's an extreme contrast difference. It's not picking up any extra light from any stars or you know city lights or anything all around the frame. So it decided that one eight thousandth of a second would be the best uh, at one one hundredth of a second. Now there is a feature in Pentax cameras where you can have the camera automatically adjust the exposure as it sees fit if you're outside the metering range and that's what happened here. So it dropped the exposure time to one one hundredth of a second instead of the original which was one two hundredth of a second. Now changing the metering mode to spot resulted in this. That's the only thing I changed. One two hundredth of a second. Camera realized it should be ISO 100. Aperture was set to f14 in order to get this result of the moon. That's the only thing that I changed and this is the easiest way for you to be able to shoot the moon with whatever camera that you have. It doesn't matter. Use spot metering change your shutter speed down until you get to ISO 100 and let the camera do the rest and you'll always get results just like this. And that's pretty much it. Have any questions, comments, anything you'd like me to go over, leave a comment down below. Thank you to everybody who's subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? I'm only trying to do this for all of you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, make sure you get notified when I pump out new content. That's pretty much it for me. If you'd like to support the channel, please read the description at the very bottom. I've provided links on how you can go about doing that. And you guys will see me on my next video. I'm out.